have been said about the orange wave that uh, came in on May 2nd, 2011. I guess this is the beginning of the orange tide here in Nevada. And we all know how unstoppable that is. Dominic is a leader, a natural leader. He's someone who helped me a great deal in my campaign. His ideas on, and mine as to what the NDP can continue to be, become relevant in people's lives, make Canadians understand that we're capable of providing good, competent public administration. Good. Yeah. 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 deserves a strong leader like Dominic Cardi in the legislature. Something special happened. A lot of Canadians felt that their voices weren't being heard. We were stuck in an alternation between the Liberals and the Conservatives. 4.5 million Canadians said we have a choice, and that choice is the NDP. but leaving more to the next generation than what we ourselves received. You know, this is the first time in Canadian history that a full generation of the middle class is actually taking home less than the previous generation. That's never happened before, and for us, that's totally unacceptable. We're shipping raw bitumen south to the United States, shipping tens of thousands of upgrading, processing, and value-added jobs with them at the same time. Why don't we start building those pipelines from west to east and add the jobs here? campaign I was in Calgary. I met with the leadership of the Canadian Association of Petroleum Producers who gave me a lovely brochure, colored, glossy, explaining that they had a policy that all companies doing fracking had to reveal the contents of the fracking fluid. I said, but the companies aren't doing that. You know what they said? Well, we can't force them. They're just our members. <laughs> the same person came out here to New Brunswick a couple of weeks later. Just so you know, the importance I accord to New Brunswick, this is my fifth trip to this great project. <laughs> here pulling a con job, trying to make people believe that somehow they were regulated, somehow they had rules that were going to mean something. They wouldn't even meet with anybody other than the individually called members of the press. They certainly didn't want people asking them tough questions. Well, here's one tough question. If you think that your method of getting to that gas is safe, why won't you reveal the contents of the fracking <laughs> known carcinogens and other very dangerous substances. So, in a place like Rothsay, where you're drawing your water from the ground and you're getting good, pristine water for generations, we're not allowed to take a chance. That's the basic principle of sustainable development called the principle of precaution, and it should be applied to fracking here in the world. That is our vision. It's a responsible vision. The NDP is in favor of development, but we want sustainable development. Yeah. The, NDP, yeah. the NDP wants more trade, of course we do, but we want it to be fair trade, and of course we want more prosperity, but we want prosperity for everyone. That's why. Tirelessly, you'll see a lot of my colleagues from Ottawa coming out here over the next couple of weeks to help Dominic because it's a priority for us. We know that most people in New Brunswick share our goals and our value. We also know that a lot of people in New Brunswick are tired of being told that they have no choice. They have no option other than the alternating between liberal patronage and conservative patronage. Well, this just in. People in New Brunswick, as, the, as across Canada, everyone in New Brunswick now has a choice, a choice for an honest, 
party with a strong proven track record in the provinces that we run. Look next door in New Nova Scotia, what Daryl Dexter is doing. Look at the Greg Selinger government in, in Manitoba and the other good example. Okay, there's one exception, but look where Bob Ray is now. <laughs> The New Brunswick legislator, legislature needs leadership. We want a leader in the legislature. Let's put Dominic Cardi into the New Brunswick legislature. in a seven-month leadership campaign. I only know one recipe, and it's working tirelessly. For the next 15 days, let's work together tirelessly for one purpose and one purpose alone. Get our leader into the New Brunswick Legislature. <laughs>